Hello everybody. Welcome to the 15th Surface Science Workshop. Glad to have you join us today. Uh, I started these just about two years ago. I've had them monthly since then. The original Lunar Surface Science Workshop was intended to be in person, but as we all remember, the uh, pandemic shut down our in-person work just before that first uh, workshop was set to go. So what we've done is develop this into a, a virtual series of workshops that have given us an opportunity asset to engage the community as we're planning Artemis. And so this has been really useful for us as we've been uh, going forward. It gives us a chance to propose sessions on specific topics and listen to the community discuss. But occasionally we have uh, about once a year now one of these sessions where we provide updates on uh, what's going on from a headquarters perspective and from around the NASA centers. And so that's what we're doing today. I uh, appreciate you all participating. Um, and we have an opening panel here that has um, some representatives from our directorates and the Office of the Chief Scientist uh, to give a, a short several minute perspective from, uh, from what they're seeing and then to answer some questions. And then we'll follow that up with sessions that get a little more specific after that. Uh, my name is Jacob Bleacher. I'm the Chief Exploration Scientist for NASA, and I will moderate this first session for us moving, uh, moving forward. So without taking up too much more time there, I'll introduce our first speaker, uh, Dr. Katherine Calvin, or Kate Calvin. Uh, she is NASA's Chief Scientist and Senior Climate Advisor. And I'll hand it over to you, Kate. Thank you. Um, so as I mentioned, I am Kate Calvin. I am the Chief Scientist and Senior Climate Advisor. I just joined NASA in January, and so I've met a few of you, but not most. And so I thought I'd just give a little bit of an introduction to me and then kick off the meeting. Um, so my background is in math, computer science, and engineering. Before I joined NASA, I spent more than a decade as a scientist at the Pacific Northwest National Labs Joint Global Change Research Institute in Maryland. My research was focused on Earth and climate, so understanding how the Earth has changed over time and how it might change in the future, looking into how humans interact with the Earth and how that influences changes there. Um, so while my expertise is in climate and climate change, I've always been fascinated by all that NASA does. So like many around the world, I was inspired by pictures of astronauts on the moon and movies about the Apollo missions. I was curious about what was in the Apollo samples um, and really excited about the science that NASA was doing to help us understand the moon and explore the moon. And now we're going back. Um, so I'm really excited about the Artemis program. I had the opportunity to see SLS and Orion when I was at Kennedy um, a little while ago. Uh, and it's not just the rocket that's exciting. It is a feat of engineering and a demonstration of teamwork, but there's also all of the science that's planned. So the CubeSats that are launching on Artemis One, the CLIPS missions that we have planned, Viper, um, and all of the science that you guys are working on right now is really exciting to me. And so I'm looking forward to hearing about what we learn with our ongoing and planned missions. We've learned so much about the formation of the Earth-Moon system and about Earth from the Apollo rocks. And so these current and planned missions will give us more insight and help us answer some of the remaining questions. So I just wanted to thank you all for the science that you're doing and that planning to do. I'm excited to learn more about it and to get to talk about it um, as you learn more and, and bring new insights. And so I don't wanna to take too much of your time, just wanna say thank you, um, welcome to this workshop, um, and I'm looking forward to hearing more. Thanks so much, Kate, for those uh, opening words. Really appreciate it. 